It's the end of summer, beginning of fall. I will show you how to make a State Fair London Bowl sandwich. Hang with me. Let's put this all together. All right, let's make this State Fair London Bowl sandwich. What we're going to do to start off with, I got the griddle set up here on medium high. I'm going to put some oil down, spread it out. And uh, right here, I have my peppers. I got a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, a couple of banana peppers, and one yellow onion. And we're just going to pour this right here on this oil. Let this cook up. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what, it's going to smell good. You ever been to the State Fair and you walk by one of those places, you can smell the peppers and the onions. It just sort of draws you in. And uh, when I go to the State Fair here in North Carolina, and it's been a while since I've been, uh, I go in and it seems like that's the first place is the London Royal Sandwiches. And I, I go to State Fair to eat. I mean, I love all the other things. I don't ride any rides or anything like that. And I look at all the scenery and all the things they've got. But my favorite part is eating. I mean, I go in, I eat. And uh, to be honest with you, it begins to cost you a lot of money. Okay, now I've got this on medium high. I'm going to crank it up to high for right now. Okay, and we're going to get this going. And let's put some seasoning on it. Now I have here the uh, garlic herb seasoning. And... Uh, we're going to just sprinkle some of this right here on if I can get this open. And evidently I can't. So let's just put it in our hand. And uh, we're going to sprinkle some of this so it'll give it some good flavor. All righty. Okay, so we got that. Now also, I'm going to add some uh, red pepper flakes. Now you got to remember, this uh, London Bull Sandwich state fair style it's carolina style i'm in a few red paper flakes kick it up a notch all right now we're gonna get this going and i'm gonna add something else to it in just a few minutes we'll be right back okay this has been cooking for about two or three minutes i'm going to go ahead and add some uh uh glaze to it it's called a uh balsamic vinegar glaze and this is going to give this peppers and onions oh man this will give it a great flavor so we're going to add some of that to it stir this up a little bit all right now it's time for the london brule while this is cooking up let's take a london brule and uh, i've had it in the freezer for about 30 minutes or well, maybe about 45 minutes and I'm going to attempt it to uh, shave it right here on the griddle before I do get my hands all messed up put a little bit of oil down all right let's take this thing out I mean this is a nice size London broil so uh, let's see what we can do with this see if we can shave this it'd be better if it was frozen a little bit more but I believe it's going to work out just great. Put that down there. And if this don't work out, let's see if I can adjust this. My wife's an ex. My wife is an expert on this. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to shave this down. This is cooking up. We'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything shaved, cut down. It's cooking up, so what we're going to do, I've got this on low. Got this still cooking. Let's stir this up a little bit. It smells so good. Man, wow. Smells good. Won't take long to put this together. I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, garlic and herb on the steak, on the London broil. And man, I tell you what, this is going to be delicious. Okay, this is cooking up quick. Okay, over here the griddle is off. But I got a, uh, a roll right here. I'm going to sort of toast it up. Just a little bit. Man. Mmm. Smells so good. Smells good. This is cooking up. You don't want to get this too done.
Just check out these buns. Yes, sir, Reed, buddy. Flip them over a little bit. This is, oh, this is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Turn this off, let it heat it. Well, I'm actually going to leave it on a medium. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's straighten this up. This is finishing up. This is finishing up. I'm going to put the cheese right here on top of this. And I'm going to use part of these onions to something else later. So I'll move that over. Oh, man. This, this is going to melt up. Now, this is Velveeta cheese. It's going to melt up. It's going to be great. All right. Let's get our plate. Got to move quick. I'm going to go ahead, while this is cooking up, the cheese is melting, go ahead and add, make, one thing makes this Southern style, Carolina style, is uh, Duke's mayonnaise. I don't like that Hellman's and all that stuff. I mean, come on now. Duke's mayonnaise is the way to go. Let's put some Duke's on here. All right, you see the cheese melting up over here? I'm going to put my cutting board over here, right here on this part of the griddle, set the plate on it. This is all done. Oh, man. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Put this right here on this. Man. All right, here we go. It's enough for two sandwiches, but I'm just gonna do one for right now. Oh man, this is, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. And man, I tell you, this is a London Bull sandwich right there. Hey, a State Fair London Bull sandwich. Okay, let's buy into this. This is going to be good. It's a little bit toasty, a little bit warm. Mmm. Man. The meat is tender. You can taste the peppers, the onions. And I like the Velveeta cheese because it's velvety. It's creamy. It's delicious. Man, mm. I tell you what, it don't take that long to make this. The meat's tender. Oh man, got to have another bite. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going in the house. Finish this up. Probably gonna get me another bun and load this up. Mm. It's good. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you the next time. Have a great day.